All right, we wrecking another deck. I meant to get video before I, we took the rails off, but I forgot they're over there. Um, Connor's back on the deck wrecker. It's an awesome tool. We're gonna pull all these boards off, post and all, and um, replace, do another composite deck. I'm using Foggy Wharf this time, so that'll be neat to see how that turns out. This is 16 foot by about 14 foot deep um and went ahead and ran the saw down this a few times so we don't have to deal with these long boards since i burn everything it'll be easier to go in my fire pit instead of wrestling 16 foot boards but just starting on this today what do you think sea biscuit all right we got this deck all stripped off and ready for the composite that's going on what we're gonna be using but these boards are new because we tore the other ones off they were sitting up a little higher just to kind of cover the ends of the deck board so when we pulled those off they busted so we just put new boards all the way around for that and we're gonna do a little different this time instead of putting a joist in here to kind of catch the picture frame boards that are coming we just went all the way across and make it a whole lot easier won't have to guess exactly where that board's gonna land. And that'll make more sense here in a few minutes when we put them down. I'll make another quick video. But we've also got a board here for a post that's gonna land there. And these will all these will um, allow for that post to be bolted into also. So those, this is really the only extra one we had to do. Um, and that's why we got this one here, here, and here for a post. We put in some extra blocking in here. These stringers are about 24 inches apart and you really don't need to go any wider than 16 inches on center for deck for these composite boards because they'll flex. So instead of building two new stringers, we just added these boards. This is two by eights in between here all the way down. So that'll be some good support for those steps. <clears throat> these posts here are gonna be cut um, level at some point and then it'll, we might have to add a little more bracing in there for the posts that are going to end up out here. But other than that, we're ready to start laying Foggy Wharf composite boards. Okay, so we got our border on. Uh, let's see. These boards, one, two, three, four, are not attached yet, obviously. We just got them laid up there pre cut. But I just wanted to give you a visual on what I meant by putting these support blocks in. See, now they're holding, they're giving this, these um, outer boards or the picture frame boards something to, to land on because your, your joists are running this way. So anyway, the picture frame boards are on. We're not doing different colors this time. They wanted all the same color. But you can see we got our 45s in here running through there. And now our normal boards, deck boards, are going to be coming through here. And, and these blocks we put in earlier will also give them something to land on here. So instead of running a joist through here right in there, where you'd have to be perfect when you put it in. And then another one right here, we just put those blocks in and it gives you something to attach all that to there's no you don't have to worry about being so precise on your measurement you did have to notch in for that board and for that board so now we're just going to run these boards on in and on some decks we will picture frame all the way around this stuff but we kind of figure by the time we put two deck boards there for a frame and two boards there and here and here these these boards we're going to be kind of short and it would look awkward so we're just doing our picture frame and running in straight to the house so that's where we're at we'll touch back in a minute it is exactly 12 27 we'll see how long it takes us to finish this up all right we have got as much done as we could for now this is a new day we had to take off out of here the other day because it poured down rain on us but all the decking is done so you can see how the finished picture frame part of this deck looks way around <laughs> <laughs> 
He shot me right in the fear with that water. Got the deck boards or the steps put down, except we ran out, so we need, looks like we need one more deck board, right? Yep. Um, one thing we do is cut 45s on here, so you don't have, it's not as, if you cut a straight cut, you'll see just a kind of a gray or black edge, so that kind of conceals that edge a little bit. Got stringer, stringer faced. Connor's Stringer. just wiping off. Got a stringer over here faced. So now we're just waiting on the rails to come in. Gonna order one deck board to put here, and then we'll be ready for our rails. But um, that's basically it. Not a whole lot left to show now that we're done. We just picture frame this one straight into the house here and here. We decided not to go all around here. It just would have got too busy in there. We felt like. Sometimes we do different colors, but this customer chose just to do the same color. What I mean is a different color for the picture framing as compared to the normal deck board or the inside deck boards, which I think was a good option because we really couldn't find a good color to go with this as far as different, but that would match. But that's it.